So let's move on to the slide 15. All right. And for this one, in this uh, lab, we are going to look at the beacon in traffic. This is another, another uh, malware uh, functionality. Once it infects a machine, then you need to make sure talk to the mothership, right? Without just, oh no, not all the time. Uh, because uh, if we just want to destruct, uh, destruct the uh, machine, then you, know, you don't, don't have to just talk uh, to them. But if the uh, malware want to be basically controlled by the uh, controller, then it should, you know, uh, talk back to the uh, controller, right? The uh, basically phone home, right? So on slide 15, so let's go back to this uh, on terminal, terminal, right? And I am going to open a new terminal for the INS sim. Right? So please make sure you open a new terminal. Okay? Then just to make sure uh, I'm not already uh, running on INSM, just make sure when you uh, do ps dash grab and the pipe grab INSM, there you go, ps dash and pipe and grab INSIM. Make sure you don't have extra entries here. Okay, once you see only this one, then you are good to go. So, you know, just in case, if you see, then I, I, and I can give you another comment to kill the process. But, okay, from there, let's start to uh, INSIM by sudo and INSIM. What's going on? How to kill it? Okay, you can do sudo. Here, there's nine, and if you see it, the first ID here, that's the one you want to put it here, right? If this is the case, I'm not going to kill this one, but if you see something other than this, you know, grab, then please uh, call uh, sudo kill dash nine and PID. Let's see a bunch of them. Let's see. So you want, you want to make sure that it's not running or not understanding? Oh, that was before you started the I okay, INSM, so. right. Right, that one is just making sure you don't have INSM running, no. right. Okay. How about right do right now? Okay, you don't see it, then that's good, yes. All right, so now here, let's start INSM. Right now, you see a lot of services, you know, they are running. Right, once you see this output, let's uh, go back to wait a minute. Did I start the wire chat? Okay, you have it is one running, and on the another terminal, let's start wire chart. Right, here just have it running for now. And let's go back to victim VM. So from here, make sure you are uh, restore this uh, victim VM to RC8. Restore snapshot. Restore. Then start. Good. So once you see, uh, don't do anything uh, right now, but let's go back to Wireshark and capture options and please select VBox Net 1. That's the uh, network that uh, Victim VM uses. And do start. Okay. Then let's go back to victim VM and go to malware class samples and do you see for this one? Um, let's see on the page sixteen. Okay. 
on the oh, sorry about that. On the page uh, 15, we are still there. 15, there is a dark shell. On the page, a uh, slide 15, and it says start dark shell, dark, dark shell malware. Now let's go back to the uh, Wireshark. Now actually, you see a lot of uh, reset, right? The traffic. Right? Well, here, let's stop uh, the capturing. And let's see why this is the case. Right? And we know that the uh, victim VM's IP is a 50, uh, 57 and 100. 57.100, right? And when I click one of the uh, traffic, do you see here where, what, what's the destination port? Port 8080, right? Port 8080 is one of another you know, alternate uh, HTTP port, right? Then let's go back to INET SIM. Like this one, or that one. Okay, let's go back to INET SIM. How about INET SIM? What is listening uh, to, which port is listening on for the HTTP traffic? He said to listening on port 80. Right? So when we learned, uh, when we run the INS in, we didn't enable the port 8080 as a default HTTP uh, service. Right? So for that, I'll, I'm going to kill INS in. So I want you to actually you know, go through this in the process so that you will know later on configure the INS in. Okay? So for this one, I just explain it, but you know, for uh, this Coming one, please, I, I will repeat so we can have the uh, same result as I have. I'm going to close Wireshark. Please close the Wireshark. And Victim VM, close it. And for now, I have only VirtualBox Manager and I have only two uh, terminal running. Okay, you have the same setting. Okay, let's uh, on the INS sim this terminal. Let's edit the INS sim's configuration file. Right, that is locating. You know, I will use a G edit. If you are familiar with other editor, please use that one. But make sure use the uh, editor with the sudo because you cannot change the system wise configuration without the sudo. So I will do sudo G edit. Actually, okay, so I do it uh, and let's see INS sim and INS sim compile. Do you see the path? Use your uh, pre uh, favorite editor, but make sure you open this Etsy INS sim INS sim that compile. All right, let me do that here. All right. For this one, I will search for HTTP. Do you see here? Do you search and do you, did you find the HTTP on the for find port? Right, I actually just searched it. HTTP find port, right? Let's add one line. So make sure you don't have this uh, comment uh, character, pound character, and let's change it as a port 88. Then save and close. All right, now let's start INSM again. Do you see the line here? HTTP underscore 8080 TCP. You see it? Right. For here, let's go back to victim VM and start. What I just missed is starting the Wireshark, right? Please start Wireshark and start capturing from Wireshark capture options. And please select VBox Net One and do start. Right? Then go back 
which one was a capture options and I selected VBOX net one. And please go back to victim VM and go to samples and start dark, uh, dark shell malware sample. And let it run for a while. And let's see whether or not you can see the beacon in traffic. I saw one HTTP or in order to qualify as a beacon in traffic, what you need to uh, support C is repeating you know, traffic with the same message, right? That's the uh, beacon in traffic. So let's let it run for a while. Who already saw the beacon in traffic? Yes, you saw it? Good. Okay, so since we are very close to 4.30, if already uh, have seen the uh, big, uh, no, actually, no, I, I do want to show you this beacon in traffic today so we can uh, uh, move forward tomorrow. So we want to actually decrypt this in a uh, beacon in traffic. Beacon traffic, yeah. You see, you see it? Multiple uh, traffic. Can you scroll it? There we go. Yes. There we go. Excellent. Did you see it? Oh, this is about the. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you did something else. Okay. So you saw the multiple HTTP traffic. All right, cool. How about. How long? Have you seen it? All right, cool. All right. So as you see, on my, even on my screen, it. Uh, Took for a while to actually see the multiple uh, beacon traffic here, beacon traffic, right? So I will from here say, okay, I'm going to stop capturing the packets, and let's see here, right? There's a HTTP uh, traffic. Some are uh, uh, it just looks like a binary, right? It is actually an encrypted uh, encrypted packet and. Oh, tomorrow we are going to decrypt it. Okay, and let's see. You have some UP. My case is UPZO. Uh, let's see the next uh, HTTP packet. Same, right? It is the uh, same packet. Keep you know, sending uh, to the destination, right? Let's see. Uh, to mind. Let's let's still finish it so I can. Uh, Start from the uh, like basically the decryption. How what's the, the on slide sixteen? What does uh, CNC uh, CNC the command and control server? It's domain name. That's right. Thank you. And so there's some cat yeah that I put do I know down? Okay, let's go. So anyway, okay. So the answer is you see here. Art miss that uh, miss that uh, org right? Is there? And how about? Uh, can you see the beacon, beacon traffic? I saw that you just saw the multiple identical packets. Yeah. So yes, you have seen it, right? And how about the question about what do you see in the TCP payload? Yeah, again, okay. TCP payload is what is this? TCP payload is the one that actually have application layer data, right? And HTTP is an application layer protocol, right? So the answer is there is a HTTP, you know, protocol data here, but it very looks like it is encrypted, right? You don't see uh, meaningful data here, right? 
Okay, so far, do you have any questions regarding this beacon traffic and capturing the traffic? Is all good? All right, so we are going to call it a day today. And once you come back tomorrow, we are going to decrypt this in the traffic.